So, you're going back to Paris? As soon as I type some loose ends here. Yeah, I guess Paris holds more for you than Harmony ever could. Not really. It won't be easy to go back to Paris, but it'll be a lot easier than staying here in Harmony. What are you doing now? Teresa, what are you doing? Why did you start dancing with me? What was it you wanted to tell me, Eve? You said it was important? If they tell Grace the truth about me and Sam, and Julian finds out, it'll be the end of my marriage. The end of everything for me. Actually, Grace, uh, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. And it concerns Ivy. doesn't like being on his own all alone. <laughs> but tell to give Timmy a job to do. Timmy, Timmy, listen to me. Now, now listen to me and do as I say. Uh, as, as soon as you get a chance, go straight to charity and make sure that she follows my orders. <sighs> tell the one for Timmy to make sure charity cure for Miguel. Miguel, you must kill Miguel. Okay, do I look sexy enough to snag Miguel? I think if your parents walk in and see you, they'll ground you for a year. Well, let's just make it two years. All I have to do is make Miguel notice me before Charity gets out. Hey, Kay. Look who's back. Charity, we heard you were coming home. It's great you're out of the hospital. Hey, thanks. It's good to be home. So you're not having any more of those visions? No. That's why they let me out. Come on. We just made some hot chocolate. You guys want some? Sure. Okay. 
I don't believe it. That girl ruins everything for me. Hey, you knew she was coming home. Did you really think you had time to make Miguel fall in love with you before she got here? Who knows? Every time I think I have the chance to tell Miguel how I feel, she shows up. Well, she's here now, and you should face the facts. Miguel thinks of you as a friend, but he loves Charity. I just don't understand why she stopped acting nuts. What happened to the bird statue? Why did she stop having hallucinations? You'll be okay now that I've taken the statue away. The important thing is, Charity is back with Miguel, and I think you should get over him and move on with your life. Oh, you think it's that simple? You don't love Chad nearly as much as I love Miguel, and you think you'd just be able to forget about him? Do you still think that it's better to not love at all than to fall in love with somebody and just not have them love you back? Absolutely. You know, I could do without that pain very nicely. Thank mm. you. Well, you want to know what I think? See, I think that one of these days, you are going to let yourself fall in love. And when you do, you're going to look back and say to yourself, that guy Chan, he knew what he was talking about. Well, you're wrong. Because look at my friend over there. I mean, she is suffering right now. And um, I'm sure as heck not going to go through what she's going through. Teresa, why did you suddenly start dancing with me? I... I had to. Yeah, but why? Um, what she means is, she had to because she picked out that song to be the first dance at your wedding. And she wanted it to be absolutely perfect for you and Glenn. <laughs> Isn't that right, Teresa? Yeah, I, I wanted to make sure it, it, it felt right. <laughs> You're such a perfectionist. <laughs> and we're so lucky to have you planning our wedding. You're one of a kind, Teresa. Thank you. Are you all right? I am trying so hard to put Ethan out of my mind, but I can't do it. Every time I see him, I just... It's going to be hard going back to Paris, but at least I'll be able to make a fresh start there. You see your old boyfriend, John Luke? As a matter of fact, I do have something to give him. But I'm not going back to a man who hurt me and tried to use me. You know, I hope you don't think I'm that weak and pathetic. No. But then again, there are a lot of things that I thought about you that turned out not to be true. I don't know what to think anymore. Grace. Sam, I... oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I just need to tell you about poor Maureen. You remember her from PTA, don't you? Y yeah, I remember. What's wrong with her? Oh, she ended up in the psychiatric ward because of what her husband did to her. What her husband did? She found out that he had an affair. And she just, she couldn't handle it. I mean, her whole life just blew apart. When she couldn't take care of herself she couldn't take care of her children and she had a, a complete breakdown and now she's in the psych ward and her her kids are off living with some aunt and they miss her terribly and her whole life is just ruined because her husband was unfaithful that's terrible grace yeah and what what made it even worse is that um been carrying on for years and she never suspected. She must have felt so betrayed. Well, he couldn't have loved Marine very much to have done something like that to her. I know. I mean, I don't know how a man could even look at his wife carrying around something like that. Thank God I'll never have to go through anything like that. I don't think I would handle it any better than she did. Um, Sam, you said you had something to tell me. Something about Ivy?
Timmy stole all one piece. Timmy has to get to the bear house and figure out what's going on with Charity and Miguel. Didn't you notice something weird about my cousin when we came downstairs? Something weird? Didn't you see her holding these scissors up in the air? What was she going to do with them? I, I don't know. Cut something? Like what? She was holding the scissors up in the air behind Miguel's back. What do you think she was going to do, Kate? Cut Miguel's head off? Give me a break. I don't know, Simone. I think she's a weirdo. There's something definitely off about my cousin. I don't trust her. Kay, I think you're letting your imagination run wild. Charity loves Miguel. She wouldn't do anything to hurt him. How do we know what she'll do? I'm telling you, she's not right in the head. Here we go. Just the thing for a cold, rainy night. Right, Charity? Um, right. Just the thing. I have to put Ethan out of my mind, but I don't know how. Try staying away from him, Teresa. You know, out of sight, out of mind. But I'm still working for Mrs. Crane, and I know she'll want me to help them. Then quit. I mean, you shouldn't be at the Crane Mansion every single day anyway, being thrown together with Ethan like that. No. I won't give up my job with Mrs. Crane. I may have lost my dream of marrying Ethan, but I still have my other dream of a career in fashion, and, and if I leave Mrs. Crane, I'll lose that dream, too. Well, then you better get used to seeing Ethan and Gwen together. I don't know if I can stand it. You don't know what to think about me anymore? Well, the feelings are mutual because you certainly aren't the man that I thought you were. Look, we have been over this before. Now, I still don't understand why you feel this way. I haven't changed. I'm the same guy that I've always been. That's just it. I didn't realize what kind of man you really are. Oh, well, I suppose the men in Paris are easier to figure out. You know, I don't know and I don't care. You know, your ego might find this hard to believe, but I'm not looking to find a man. I see. You know, as a cop, I am used to figuring things out. But for the life of me, I cannot figure out why you turned on me this way. Grace, I just wanted to tell you, I don't think it's a good idea to become too friendly with Ivy. What do you mean? I mean, you have such a giving, trusting heart. And I know you like Ivy. I just don't want the cranes to become too involved in our personal lives, that's all. You mean you're bothered by Ivy's concern with charity? Charity and anything else that's our business. Sam, I don't think Ivy's going to do anything to hurt our family. But still, I'm not going to confide in her. Good. And I like Ivy. She's just not a good friend like Eve. But let's not be rude, huh? Okay. Uh, I hope I didn't upset you with my story about Maureen. No, I didn't know the woman. But of course, I feel very sorry for her. Yes, it's a terrible thing. Well, like I said, I, I don't think I could handle it any better. You know, Grace, I, I don't know you very well. But you strike me as a very strong person. I can't imagine you ending up like Maureen. Well, none of us knows how we might handle it until the situation actually happens. Well... Thank goodness I don't have to worry about that. And Sam, you never keep a secret like that from me. I can't imagine being married to someone you couldn't trust. I mean, trust is the most important thing in a marriage, don't you think? Oh, I agree, Grace. A person needs to be able to trust his or her spouse above all else. I know that you and TC have the same bond of trust that Sam and I have. Yes, we do. And you and Julian seem to have such a lasting, stable marriage. It's got to be grounded in trust. Actually, I envy your marriage to Sam, Grace. My marriage is very different, and it's been different since the day I married. Will you two excuse us? I need to speak to Ivy. <laughs> There are 
few things you and I have to get settled. Jimmy doesn't want to do this. But if he doesn't, I'll never forgive him. Jimmy will be all alone in the world. Charity, are you sure you're all right? You're acting kind of out of it. Am I? Well, I guess I do feel kind of strange. Well, who wouldn't after all you've been through? What you need is a good night's sleep. I mean, if Simone's mom were here, she'd insist on it, wouldn't she, Simone? I guess. You know, I, I kind of agree with Kay. I mean, you're probably exhausted from being in the hospital and all those tests and stuff. You know, I really wanted to hang out with you guys. But you know what? You may be right. I should just get some rest. Come on, I'll take you up to bed. Sleep well. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, this is really weird. There's all these wet footprints in here, but we were all inside before it started raining. You're right. Did you hear anyone come in? No, I didn't. That's really strange. Is anything wrong? No, we just need to get Charity up to bed. You know what, Kay? You don't have to come up with me. I'm fine. Okay. Simone, didn't you say that you had to go home pretty soon? Um, yeah, sure. I have to go. See you, Miguel. See you, Simone. Want me to tell you what you did? Well, it might be nice, considering I am totally in the dark here. That song. You recognize that song? Yeah, it sounds familiar. It was playing the night we were in the pool hall. Yeah, it was. You know, the guys are still talking about how you beat Mac at darts. Even though it cost you a game of pool. Hey, no big deal. Still can't believe how well you fit in with that crowd. I had a really good time. Well, uh, I should go. stay as far away from Ethan as I can. And I'll only go to the Crane Mansion when I know he won't be there. Well, what about planning their wedding? Are you gonna get somebody else to do that or what? No, I mean, what excuse can I give? I'll have to do it. But I'll, I'll do the work at home. Well, I guess that's the best you can do. Hello? What? Oh, no. What's the matter? Yeah, this is very bad news. This is very bad news for us. Thank you for letting me get well enough to leave the hospital and come home. But something's still not right. I'm not having my visions anymore, but I'm having really strange feelings about Miguel, and I don't know what they mean. You must kill Miguel. You must kill him yourself. I'm so confused. I mean, I love Miguel, but now that I'm here, I feel like something really bad's going to happen to him. What? I mean, why, why is this happening to me? Jimmy wishes he could tell Charity what's happening to her. You know, 
I just hope that a good night's sleep helps Charity feel like her old self again. Miguel, I don't want you to be too upset if Charity's not back to her old self right away. What do you mean? I mean, you don't think Charity's going to be okay again? I just don't want you to be too disappointed if things don't work out the way you expect them to. Look, I just want you to know that I'm always here for you. You can count on me no matter what. I know, Kay. And I'm grateful. I gotta go. Go? I mean, why? I mean, well, what's your hurry? Charity's resting. I mean, I should just go. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, don't you want to wait around and see if she's all right? Well, like you said, I mean, she'll be fine once she gets some rest. But if there's a problem, then call me, okay? Sure. I'll call you. Thanks, Kay. You're a really good friend. Good night. Good night. Well, the odds may be against me, but I'm not giving up. Something tells me that things are going to start to go my way. I can't believe I let myself get hurt again. And I've been hurt before, but never like this. Luis actually made me feel like I could find happiness and harmony. How long it'll take me to forget him? Still don't know what I did to upset her so much. I really thought we had something together. What went wrong? What do you mean, bad news, friends? Remember I told you about that big business merger I'm working on? Well, it's finally gonna happen. Well, that's good news, isn't it? Yeah, it would be. Except I have to go to New York, and I don't know how long I'm gonna be stuck there for. Well, when do you have to go? Within a few days. And I'm gonna be working day and night in the weeks before the wedding. Well, can't you find someone else? No, to... I can't. Ethan, I know this couldn't come at a worse time, but it's really important to me. You have to do what you have to do. I understand that. Thank you. This means that Teresa's certainly going to have her hands full with all the wedding plans. And there's also something else I need her help with. What exactly is it you think we need to get settled, Eve? I just want you to know that I didn't tell Grace about you and Sam because Sam is going to do it himself, not because you threatened to tell those lies to TC about me and Julian. Well, I don't believe they were lies. Believe it. I have no interest in your husband. There is no me and Julian. And I suppose Charity's hallucinations about you and Julian have no basis in reality. None whatsoever. Like I said, I don't believe you. In fact, I'm thinking of hiring a private investigator to find out exactly what went on between you and Julian. I'm telling you, there's nothing going on. Maybe not now. But in the past? Oh, something went on. I feel sure of it. You just do whatever you want. The reason that I didn't tell Grace about you and Sam was because I just didn't want to hurt her. Do you think Sam will tell Grace? I don't know. He was ready to confess everything when she came in with that story about her friend. And I would have backed him up. If Sam doesn't confess, will you keep quiet? Well, I'm ready to forget the whole thing. But you have to promise me that you won't go after Sam anymore. Agreed? No. I have no intention of giving up on Sam. Teddy bear. Charity must have brought it home from the hospital. I put the bird statue inside this and it worked. But Charity stopped having those visions. 
I just don't understand why. Wait a minute. This doesn't feel as heavy as it used to. The bird statue's gone? What could have happened to it? I mean, it couldn't have fallen out. Someone must have taken it. Hello? Simone, it's me. You're never gonna believe what happened. You know the bird statue I put in the teddy bear? Well, it's gone. Kay, I wish you'd forget about the bird. Forget about it? Are you nuts? That's what made Charity act so crazy. Kay, if Charity's as crazy as you say she is, then she'll act crazy without the bird. But if the visions stop coming, then we'll know she has an allergic reaction to the bird or the pain or something. And then, that means she's as sane or saner than the rest of us. No, Simone, you're wrong. There's something really weird about that girl, and I'm going to be keeping my eye on her. Please help me understand. Why do I feel like I'm not good for Miguel right now? Why is this urge that I'm having to do something somehow connected to Miguel? Tabitha wants to me to make sure Charity kills Miguel. Why did I bring those scissors up here? Girl, Charity. You're not serious. I'm absolutely serious. You mean you would give up your marriage to pursue Sam, knowing he's in love with Grace and will never leave her in a million years? <laughs> Eve, uh, we're going to take off. Yeah, we're anxious to see Charity. Yeah. Cool. Um, Eve, didn't you want to tell me something? No, it's nothing. It wasn't important. Okay, okay then. Well, good, good night. night. Good night. Why are you so determined to pursue Sam? I want him. He's the only man I've ever wanted. I'm just sorry it took me this many years to realize I can have him. But you can't have him. Don't you see how in love he is with Grace? I'm not interested in breaking up his marriage. I'm not interested in breaking up my marriage. Then what are you after? An affair. That's insane, Ivy. Sam is never going to sleep with you. He's never going to betray Grace that way. See, I know Sam better than anyone knows Sam. And now that I know you're not going to say anything to Grace, I have no intention of giving up on Sam. We have a huge favor to ask you. What kind of favor? Well, I just found out that I have to be out of town for the weeks leading up to the wedding, and I am going to need you to take over most of the wedding plans for me. Will you do it, Teresa? Of course. 
course I'll do it. <laughs> Yo, Ethan. I got a phone call. Oh, thanks. Excuse me. Teresa, thank you so much for offering to help out. Um, there's just one thing, Gwen, with my busy school schedule and all. I haven't had much time these days, so I'll have to do most of the work at home. Well, there's just one problem with that. There's something you can't do at home. What's that? Be with Ethan. So what'd you think of the uh, tunes I played tonight? Actually, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't mind on other things. <laughs> yeah, right. Look, I saw the look on your face when I played that song. Oh, you know, the song about um, that fire that you feel when you fall in love. You know, I don't know what you're talking about. That song made me feel nothing. Nothing, huh? Absolutely nothing. Mm. In fact, I don't intend on feeling any kind of fire. Not for a long, long time. Yeah, well... I know you don't like hearing this, but I got a funny feeling that you're going to be feeling that fire sooner than you think. I... I, I don't understand. Well, since I'm going to be out of town for the weeks leading up to the wedding, Ethan's going to be pretty much on his own. That's why I need you to be with him. I mean, stay close to him. Poor dear male that he is, he is going to be completely at sea with all of this. He is definitely going to need your help making decisions on the wedding plans. I see. I mean, I think you and I have the same taste. I've, I've loved all of your ideas on the wedding so far. I trust your judgment. Most of all, Teresa, I trust you with Ethan. You do? Yes. You've really turned out to be a great friend. I can't believe how suspicious I was of you before. <laughs> I mean, now I know you are not in love with Ethan, and I know that Ethan loves me. Still, it's, it's going to make me feel a lot better knowing that you're with him. You never know, some unscrupulous girl might try to steal him away from me while I'm gone. Not that I'm worried. <laughs> So will you do it? Will you stay close to Ethan while I'm out of town? Sure. Why not? <laughs> Great. Oh, come on. Don't tell me I've shocked you. You have. Can't believe you could be so callous. Eve, all I'm trying to do is find some happiness with the one man who can make me happy. And what if I tell you that I won't let you? You can't stop me. I can tell Julian what I know. You could. But you won't. Because you don't want TC to know what happened between you and Julian. If you think that you can hire a private detective to dig dirt on me, just think again. There is no dirt. And if you do anything to hurt Grace, I swear, I'll go to Julian and I'll tell him everything I know. You don't frighten me, Eve. I know there was something between you and Julian. And I know that somewhere there's proof. Everything that uh, could destroy your whole life is uh, hid there in the bird. Marvel, I told her your apartment caught fire. Everything in it was burned. Well, I hope that bird was destroyed too. For your sake, Eve. You don't frighten me either. And if anyone should be worried, it's you.
we have no choice. I'll see you before you go. Uh, bon voyage. <laughs> 